yes, yes, greetings. Greetings from the Ravinia Festival in Highland Park, Illinois, the oldest outdoor festival in America. Yeah. And, and, we're 25 miles north of Chicago, which means we're... Rocking the suburbs, just like John Bon Jovi did. We're rocking the suburbs, except that he was talented. I'm rocking the suburbs, I take the checks and face the facts. There's some producers with computers, fix it on my... And we'll stop it right there. The burbs, y'all, we're in the burbs. Cul-de-sacs, Adirondack chairs. Three car garages, sorry, sorry, two car and one virtually unused boat garages. The American dream. We're living our best lives out here on the North Shore of Chicago. Who else immediately thinks of Ferris Bueller when they think of either the Chicago suburbs or living one's best life? And who thinks that the song we're gonna excerpt to summon the ghost of Ferris Bueller's past is surely Twist and shout, twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. No. Come on, baby. We'll work it on out. Work it on out. Wrong. We are at this very moment, moment, coming to you live precisely 1.4 miles from the house in which Ferris's best friend, Cameron, lay on his bed and sang. When Cameron was in Egypt land. Let my Cameron go. Take heart, Cameron. America's best life is all around you. Manicured lawns, bike trails, the Northbrook Container Store. You could fit all of Greenwich Village inside the Northbrook Container Store. And you know what? If you snap the top on correctly, it would survive the apocalypse which is an attractive quality in a thing these days. On a serious and sad note, we lost a hero of mine this week, Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. I've read a bunch of beautiful tributes to him over the last day and a half, but I, I know he loved music as much as he loved food, and I want to say on behalf of touring musicians everywhere, thank you, Anthony, for teaching us how to make the most of our nomadic existences. You're... Your work inspired us to look beyond the backstage deli trays and get out into the communities we're making music for. I've met many of my dearest, most inspiring, best cooking friends after shows and little restaurants I might never have been interested in were it not for books like Kitchen Confidential and shows like Parts Unknown. Here's our tribute to you, a song that, uh, that you said was one of your favorites. One. Brother, there's far too many of you die. You know we've got to find a way to bring some love in here today.
Rest in peace, Anthony Bourdain. Thanks for showing us the way to our best lives. Life is, life is fragile. Life is fragile. That's what my wife told our three-year-old a few weeks ago when he noticed a dead bird on our way to a restaurant in Nashville that I, I bet Anthony would have loved called Rolf and Daughters. Cal was genuinely concerned, little Cal was, and he asked, where's his mommy? She will be so sad. About a half hour later, he brought it up again and he said to me, Daddy, life is, life is, life is glass which makes a whole lot of sense to me. Glass is fragile, life is ultimately transparent, which is kind of what this week's song is about. The social media hashtag living my best life got stuck in my head this week, in case you haven't noticed. Also, I confess I've been reading quite a bit about the life of one Paul Manafort. <laughs> Seems living one's best life doesn't tend to work out well if it directly impedes others from living theirs. As, <laughs> as Calvin Thiele might say, life is glass. Here's a new song called The Best Life. <laughs> 